how nice to be here. I'm often asked if among all the magic that I perform, I have a favorite. I did it for you. I do. It is my favorite because it illustrates one of the world's oldest stories. Yellow cotton thread, a single length, which will represent the entire universe. In Hindu mythology, it is the god Brahma who creates the universe and all that there is. Brahma then retires, and the god Vishnu takes over, and Vishnu sustains and preserves the universe in every moment of its existence. And then, at the end of time, the god Shiva appears and dances a weird and terrible dance of fire, the Tandava dance in which the entire material universe is destroyed in blinding light, brighter than 10,000 suns. And the universe is no more. There is only silence, vast cosmic sleep. And out of this cosmic sleep, Brahma wakens himself again. He looks about and seeing nothing, nothing lovely or beautiful, he decides to create the universe again. <laughs> and creating it, he retires, pleased with his eternal play. <laughs> And what's your name? Janet. Hi, Janet. I have a couple questions for you. Number one, are you right... Don't look in the magic box, your eyes will fall out. Uh, are you right-handed or left-handed? <laughs> right-handed. Perfect, because I have a right-handed china marker. And I want you to hold it in your right hand because it needs to pick up your vibrations. Question two, do you believe in spirit? I could tonight. <laughs> Me too. What I've got here are two groups of cards. This one is blank, and on this one I have cunningly written words of things that attract the spirits. A crystal ball. Incense. Cookie. Chocolate chip. A crow's feather. Creative massage. Didn't think it was going to be that kind of a program, did you? <laughs> a bell. These are the classics. The book. The bourbon. Then the candle. The slates. They do love to write messages. And finally, Sissy, the black cat. Now, sir, we've never met. We're going to eliminate some of these cards at random, and you're going to be the eliminator. So give me a number between one and ten. Seven. Seven it is. Spirits never appear in light. They only appear in darkness. This is the spirit's cabinet, and you can see that the cabinet is empty. The ends are folded to the center, leaving one end open. That, Janet, is the doorway to the spirit world. Ooh. <laughs> now, on the bottom half of the card, write your initials big. One there, one there. I'll hold it steady. J.P. Nice to perform. Yes. Looks perfect. Also, write your initials on this side. J. Keeping the same initials. A nice touch. Now, the card goes into the spirit cabinet, along with the marker you've been holding, and the doorway is closed. And now it is time to contact the spirits. There are people who believe that there are spirits in every room capable of doing the weirdest things. Tell it to open. Open. 
What a strange way to light a candle. Sir, you said what number? Seven. Seven it is. Hello. <laughs> I'm going to be fair. One, two, three, four, five, six. I had a suspicion about you from the very beginning. I did, I did. Spirits, the words, are creative massage. Pick up the marker. Pick up the marker and write. Down. But look, the spirits have written massage. <laughs>